I grabbed my tools and started cutting. Now this is the Huff Dunk that supposedly has a hidden tie-dye design underneath the mid panel. This design is shown on the bag that they come in, but my pair was missing some orange and black tie-dye. Now the cool thing about these shoes is that they're a mystery. Not only for this tie-dye debacle of whether or not the pattern actually exists under the leather, but when you buy the shoes, you don't know whether you're getting the New York, San Francisco, or a secret friends and family pair. Now I was really happy to get the San Francisco pair, but I wanted to find this tie-dye design, and it looks like there was only one way to do it so I got my tools and got to work. I went with a pretty sharp tool to help me make some cuts and then got some tweezers for a little help around the edges. So getting started I wanted to start up top to ensure that if this was all for nothing I wouldn't have destroyed the entire shoe. Right away it felt really weird to be cutting up some brand new shoes so I really hoped it would all be worth it but as I made a little bit of progress I was able to peel back a little bit of the leather to take a peek at what was underneath and to my unfortunate surprise there was no tie-dye. So I was definitely quite confused but I figured this must just be another layer layer that you have to cut through. So once I got started on the second layer, I felt like you could faintly see the orange behind this layer, but I did the same thing and just took a little piece off the top to try and see. And finally, with peeling back this layer, I could relax a little bit because we got some orange. Now we were off to the races to keep cutting carefully around the swoosh and the black leather panels to try and reveal the full design. Now this second layer was cutting a little different and a little more difficult than the first layer, but I started to get the hang of it as I was approaching the end. And finally, we got just the first panel done. And all while I was doing this, I thought about how the picture on the bag just showed one side of the shoe, but not the other. Would Nike have just made one side with the design? Again, I think there's only one way to find out. This time, with a little more experience under my belt, I went with the same strategy, but wanted to cut through both layers at the top, just in case this side of tie-dye didn't exist. And as we made our way through, I pulled the layer back, and thankfully, the tie-dye was there. So now, we had to keep going to get the full shoe done to finally be able to wear them with all the tie-dye exposed. So I kept going on this shoe, and then had to switch to the other shoe in order to cut all four panels so I could have my pair fully complete. And as I rounded out the edges on the last panel, I was looking back at all the work that did get easier as I got more experience, and I really like how they turned out. The only thing left to do was to get them on feet, and I thought they looked great. 